hi guys welcome back to dream tarot so guys i am so freaking tired so worn out schedule is running behind um all signs will be done this week by saturday the only thing is i just came back from my trip and i have lots of orders thanks to you guys and that's not a complaint i'm extremely grateful for that i've also been getting lots of personal readings and that's my first priority is making sure these personal readings are coming out on time for you guys um and then also patreon i want to make sure i'm posting so much for patreon this march so it's a lot guys but um we'll get it together i'm just behind right now and it's been like a struggle to try to keep up with posting every day on youtube but i'm trying um so if the readings come out sporadically up until saturday forgive me i just literally am you know tired <laughs> so i could only get one reading out the way today which is crazy so i just feel horrible um and i want to make sure that you guys get a reading that's collective that every sign can relate to so this is you know for the person on your mind and we're gonna get started and after this i'm gonna shower and head to bed okay but yeah, just please forgive me, guys. I want to make sure I'm on top of the personal readings. I want to make sure the orders are going out on time. And it's a one-woman show over here. But, you know, it's a blessing to be so busy. But literally, um, I've been having no energy for YouTube readings. But that will be better towards the end of the um, week. I even feel like my eyelashes, like, what's going on up there? All right, let's get started. All right. All right, so fantasy is playing right now. So first of all, you and this person could have taken a vacation. It went very well. Or you guys will be taking a vacation or a trip. It could be a short trip, a weekend trip um, with the fantasy. Because this song goes, it's like, it's like, so you say you want to get away. We don't need a plane. I can be your escape. Take you to a place. Where there's no something, something that could be a pirate island underneath the sun. Wait, underneath the palm trees, you could leave your worries. Okay, I don't remember the rest, but yeah. So if someone's your fantasy. Someone could be your wish fulfillment. You feel like from the from the outside looking in, you could still be getting to know this person. You could have even known this person more than a year. You're still getting to know them. They could be very mysterious type. Okay, all right. So tell me. Tell me who is this person that's on their mind currently. Tell me about this person. Who is this person, Spirit? Oops. Okay. Could be an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I have Aries here with the full card as well. This is someone that when you first met them, you were so in your head about. And now you're the full card. So it's like when you met this person, you possibly was... Trying to figure them out. Very mysterious, right? You probably also pre-assumed about this person. For example, you go on a date with this person. And you're like, you know, oh, this person is a player. I just know this person's a player. I know they got lots of hoes. I know that they're dating multiple people. I know they got baby mama, baby daddy drama. Like you assumed about this person really in your head. But now you're the full card. You're ready to jump in with both feet. What else? Ten of cups. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, y'all are like my best friends. So I'm like, really? That's how you feel about this person? Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups here. So Pis Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you feel like you could fall really deep for this person. And you know it too. And I feel like, I don't know, I don't feel like you feel that way about a lot of people usually. Let's clarify. Let me, Um, I have like my portable hookah here. Hold on. Ooh, it's pretty mighty. If you want to order any of these guys, um, please DM me on Instagram. Pretty cool, okay? Anyway, <laughs> let's see. What's the Nine of Swords in reverse? What's the Nine of Swords in reverse? Six of Pentacles. Okay, interesting. The more this person opened up to you, like Six of Pentacles is a giving energy and it doesn't have to be money. It doesn't have to be things that you can touch. It could literally just be words, feelings, emotions, um it could be fantasies it could be dreams someone really like poured themselves out to you told you a lot about themselves things that you probably wouldn't open up about so easily 
and that's made you get out your head about this person because you feel like you have them a little bit figured out it's like if a best if your best friend me if i was like hey tell me tell me about this girl or tell me about this guy you could tell me a lot about them like if i ask you like you know how many siblings do they have where does their mother live do or do they have children were they married before what do they do for work you could tell me all of that like someone is an open book or was an open book all right what else nine of cups you really see this person as your wish fulfillment also this person treats you like you're the only you don't know if that's true but you're hoping because it feels so good the nine of cups okay what else what's the full card so you're ready to jump in with both feet five of swords in reverse there's no drama with this person you don't sense any emotional trauma with this person meaning this person could have went through shit we all go through shit right but someone feels like a very healed energy you could have had an ex who, you know, you could tell right away that they were still dealing with trauma or, you know, things from their past. This person seems like very healed, well-learned, okay? Someone who's learned a lot of lessons and, and took from those lessons and be, and evolved, okay? Yeah, the hermit in reverse, exactly. So someone has had their dark night of the soul. Somebody has went within. Somebody is very... um I think of the hermit as a sage, so it could be a Sagittarius, but this is someone who has a lot of wisdom and they use it in their life. There's not someone who just, you know, gives wisdom, but they're reckless in their own life. This person could be a little reckless, but um, yeah, I feel like this person did have a reckless past, but they hung that up. You see how this person is just looking at their past. They did have like a reckless past. They did have like a traumatic past, but they're very different and they use that as stepping stones. So that's why you really like this person. What's the 10 of cups doing here? Cause that's what I want to know. Like why are you falling so deep, honey? What's the 10 of cups? Nine of pentacles. Very self-sufficient you are, and this person is as well. And you really like that about this person. It doesn't feel like it's going to be a codependent relationship. It feels very free. Feels like you and this person will both be able to evolve and grow within the relationship and still be there for one another. Because when you have codependent relationship, it's kind of like a smothering energy. It's kind of like a parasitic relationship is a scientific term where one latches on the other to survive, Okay, and how can that's you like literally in the science books, you see like, you know, one beautiful bug, you know, you know, just living their life. Okay, and then you see this parasite like on it and it's like, you know, the parasites only life is as long as the host life is. And some of us, we deal with relationships like that and it's mutual. It's like host to parasite, but you could be a parasite too to host when you're in a codependent relationship. It's just, you know, depending on each other to survive. You and this person don't have to do that. You know, you guys can do your own thing, you know, go into your own groups, own hobbies, own lifestyles, own friends, and come together and still be, grow together. It's very freeing kind of relationship here, okay? All right, cute. I love it. All right. So that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that sounds good, okay? All right, let's see what their main focus is right now, you know? Like, this is not all about love. Let's see, because this is one thing, too. Like, so many people, they um, book me for readings, and they want to know about their love life and the person that they're dealing with, and that's great. You know, I love that. It's my favorite subject. But the problem is sometimes we get so um, into the relationship, we forget about outside influences, what influences someone actions you know there's also a lot of people who are waiting for contact from someone and it's like well did you think other than how they feel about you what's going on in their outside life so let's see what this person's main focus is right now so spirit the person okay phone me this person wants you to pick up the phone and call them or text them they're waiting on your text like right now like literally right now they're waiting on your text or your phone call so somebody waits by the phone to see if you're gonna text them good morning or good night or if you're gonna just reach out because you missed them like someone's like into you okay what's okay what is this person's main focus right now oh okay yeah interesting what else <laughs> okay Happy birthday, Pisces, by the way. My best friend, one of my best friends who's a Pisces, her birthday was today. So I have to shout you guys out. Okay, what else? Oh, whoa. Jesus, this person is something, something, aren't they? Okay, let's talk about it, right? Hold on.
All right. Ten of Swords is someone's focus. But remember, this is like their past. This is like not what they're currently feeling. This is like their past. So something with their past pain is their focus. Maybe healing. They're still in the in the energy of healing. They could be at the end phases of healing, but they still want to make sure that they're completely healed, that they're not dragging on their like you know baggage onto this you know relationship situationship whatever it is we also have the nine of pentacles so someone is focused on their money being self-sufficient also the nine of pentacles is a self-sufficient motherfucker okay but they also are someone who has so much um stability that they're able to help others as well so someone's focus is like providing for their family or providing for their lover but they're trying to make sure that they're like their bank account is looking really healthy for that kind of energy or situation. This could also be because I see the Hierophant is up here next. Somebody wants to save for marriage because weddings are expensive as fuck, right? So the Hierophant is here as well. Someone's main focus is God, okay? So that could be something. Someone could be very spiritual, very religious type of person. We love that. Um, but also someone also wants a higher commitment with the right person, okay? Ten of Swords, please. What's the Ten of Swords? All right, Six of Pentacles. So somebody wants to be the best person that they can be to be a giver, right? I talked about the Nine of Pentacles when I said that you're so sufficient that you're able to use your stability to enhance the community or your friends or your family or your life, the people that are in your life that you care about. So someone's trying to make sure that they're 100% good so that if they do give off any kind of energy... It's a giving energy. It's not a taking energy with the Six of Pentacles. So that's nice. What else? Yeah. Okay. Five of Wands. You know, they they have had past relationships where there was drama, it was conflict. It was just kind of like a, a waste of time. All right. In the Judgment card, they do believe that real love is out there. Someone's not jaded. So that's always a great thing as well, right? At least right now they're not jaded, right? So what's the Nine of Pentacles doing here? All right. Ace of Cups. Oh. Jeez Louise. Ace of Cups. So somebody's waiting. You see that person right there? You, I know you see them. All right. So waiting on their right partner and they want to be just, um, they want to make their partner proud. Like, you know, I got my shit together. I have the house on the hill. I have the white picket fence. I have the um, German shepherd, you know, all I need is my family and my lover. Right. Okay. So what's the Hierophant doing here? Ooh, Queen of Pentacles. Somebody's looking for a wife. Or if you're a masculine, somebody's like trying to make sure they're in their wifely status because they want their next person to be their king, right? Okay. But someone's definitely looking for a wife or for their husband. Okay. Okay. Three of Cups. They also want this person to be their best friend. So this is the type of lover that, you know, they're like, um, they want their, you know, even though something as serious as a high commitment, like a long-term love or marriage or anything like that, they also want that person in to have a they want to have fun you know even if someone's like a little bit older like 40s or older um they want to have fun they've been so serious their whole life or they've had relationships that they try to be super serious and it wasn't carefree they really want to like let their hair down with someone sorry all right so let's move on Looking good so far. Okay, so next, let's see what's their thoughts of you. Let's see what their thoughts are of you. Okay, so Spirit, what is this person's current thoughts of my viewer? What is this person's current thoughts of my viewer? Knight of Pentacles, okay. If someone's been taking... Oh, <laughs> geez, Louise. What the, who are y'all dating, bro? Who are y'all dating? Who are y'all dating? All right. Ooh. Okay. All right. Ooh. Two of Cups are their current thoughts. They see you as soulmate energy. They see this as the Ace of Cups. You see the Ace of Cups back there. They see this as like a relationship, like very serious, okay? They feel like you're their equal counterpart, which is wonderful, right? Um, even if somebody you feel could have higher status than you or even lower status than you, they feel like you guys are equals. Like if someone has higher status, they don't 
put their status over yours they feel like y'all are equal if someone has lower status they feel like they can bring a lot to your table okay all right so knight of pentacles is here as well so with the knight of pentacles being here if you and this person have been taking things slow they're thinking about like going full speed ahead okay corvette corvette hop in a motherfucking jet like that no, just... <laughs> all right i need to go to bed i'm sorry y'all anyway somebody wants to go corvette speed with you okay because guess what's next is the four of wands so somebody's wanting to build a happy home with you they, they're thinking about asking you to move in they're thinking about asking you possibly for marriage or they see that in their future they want a serious commitment here knight of swords exactly like corvette status coming in very fast you know sweeping you off your feet coming in very fast faster than maybe what you're used to or what you were thinking of you got a fast moving situation coming here and the world card in reverse okay so almost as if like also too this person sees you as someone who can teach them a lot of lessons and they feel like they can teach you as well like i said remember what i said about levels right so world card is like a leveling up it's like the checkpoint for me in people's lives right if you think about a video game you hit the checkpoint that's the save point you can move forward right someone's willing to stay at their checkpoint or hoping that you stay at yours so that they can meet you there it's like i'm not ready to level up to my next thing i want you to come with me kind of energy okay so let's clarify what's the knight of pentacles please two of cups ace of cups Ooh, jesus okay magician in the moon card someone's emotions are so deep for you like deeper than what they would have even imagined okay and with the magician here they're ready to take action they're like okay let me just ask for what i want if i want this let me go ahead for it three of pentacles it's like almost someone's ready like to pop the question and it doesn't have to be a marriage question it could just mean like will you be mine will you be my can we be exclusive can we be exclusive Somebody's thinking about how to ask you or how to say it or, or even trying to do something grandiose, grandiose, okay? Something really grand to sweep you off your feet. That's the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's falling really hard. So you've had this energy as well. Like you're falling hard for this person. They are as well. What's the Knight of Swords doing here? Oh, geez, Louisa. Okay, somebody's ready to move this full speed ahead because there hasn't been drama between you and them. Even if there was a drama, it was very acute, which is small. Okay, and the Eight of Cups as well. Hmm, why the Eight of Cups? Why the Eight of Cups? Nine of Swords. Someone does, they feel like they need to claim you because they do get nervous that maybe you might find someone better or you may not be as, why is this person a nine of swords? I don't want to assume, but I'm really getting in my head. Okay, page of cups. Somebody feels like you don't really like them as much as you do because I know you do. I'm, you know, we're besties, I know. But um, this person, page of cups, they feel like you maybe you're just like, you just feel like, oh, I like you. You're, you're cool. You're cute. <laughs> you know? Eight of Cups. Somebody does feel like, oh my God, no, 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 no. Like, you make someone feel small. You make someone feel like, do they like me? I don't know. I don't know. Nine of Swords, they're really in their head about this. So they're like, okay, I got to move full speed ahead or else. What's the world card in reverse? Eight of Wands, okay? You and this person are going to be bonding very strongly like the bond is going to be very strong it's moving ahead pretty fast eight of wands is fast moving energy um i also feel like with the eight of wands communication is just really good between you and this person you guys can talk about almost anything even if you're nervous to speak to someone about something i promise you if you were to open up about what you're thinking to this person they'll be all ears and they'll be all mouth <laughs> they'll they'll be able to um <laughs> articulate themselves on that subject and they won't have a problem with you asking that and they'll have a lot to say as well this eyelash is making my eye look crazy it's making me look like this you know but it's cool all right what else the hermit in reverse yeah they're open book they're not gonna someone communicates very well very effectively okay moving on <sighs> if y'all see me wearing this outfit again this week mind your business okay because i only got one reading two readings out of it okay maybe i should change it but if you see it again mind your business okay what is this person's true intentions with my viewer
I see you and this person traveling a lot, especially with that world card, travel. Lots of travel with this person. They want to take you around the world. Um, also here too with the world card, leveling up. They power couple energy. Someone just wants to like, I'm hearing that song by Beyonce. <laughs> you know I used to be that block. Wait, what did he say? <laughs> what song? Okay, Jay-Z said something in that song. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. We got to talk about it. I got to entertain myself because if not, I'm going to fall asleep on y'all. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let me see. Oh, okay. He was like, you know, I used to beat that block. Now I bees the block. Okay. <laughs> All right. Somebody wants to upgrade you, but they also feel like you can upgrade them as well. It's mutual. Okay. Sun card. Just to make you happy or have a positive connection. They don't want to bring you no drama, no stress. Very healthy relationship, I see. Chariot, to move forward, to upgrade you and you upgrade them like power couple energies. Be successful couple, okay? Star card. Ooh, this is giving me different... Okay, but let's just talk about the star card, period. Somebody wants to put you on a map. I don't know who this person thinks they are. Who are they? <laughs> this isn't Tyra Banks, America's Next Top Model. Like, who does this person think they are? But they want to put you on a map. Somebody sees you as their muse. Somebody also wants to dominate you only in the bedroom. All right, I'm not clarifying these. I'm just not going to do it. All right, let's move on. Let's see their current feelings. I'm going to do all elements. So if you're dealing with the air sign, if you're dealing with the air sign, what's their current feelings for you? If my viewer is dealing with the air sign, a Libra, a Gemini, or Aquarius, what's their current feelings for you? Ooh, geez Louise, okay. We've got lots of cards here. All right, world card. Like I said, put you on the map, upgrade you, level you up. I don't know. This person thinks that they're, you know... I don't know who this person thinks they are. You also have the Ace of Wands, but it's like, okay, maybe you and this person had like a rough start or if you guys, maybe it was a good start and then something happened that kind of like shook some things up. They want to start fresh or they want to show you like, you know, that's not really what this is about to be. I have better intentions, okay? Page of Swords is here. I do feel like someone does watch you and they tend to get jealous. So they might have tried to stop watching you so much. If this is social media, Facebook, Instagram, it's like, let me stop watching their story so much because I get jealous. I don't even feel like it's anything that you do. I just feel like it's what you post. Like maybe you post really cute selfies. It's like this person works themselves up over who else is watching. Also with the Page of Swords, I feel like they also want to like not be so like calm down it's a page of swords in reverse so they're like okay let me calm down let me stop watching because i get a little heated i don't know ace of pentacles though this person does want to give you a serious offer um emperor they want to show you something when it deals with their business they want to be a father figure in your children's life or have a child with you and be a father baby father baby, you know husband wife i don't know um, also too, they want to take control of the situation. They want to show you leadership qualities. You also have the seven of wands in reverse. This person tends to be defensive over their lover. Okay. And they're trying to make sure that they are keeping that under the wraps because there's no reason for it, but someone could get jealous pretty easily. So watch out for that air sign. I think they're going to be able to, you know, be okay with it, but it's like someone's very like defensive, sometimes it could even be with their intelligence as an air sign very intelligent creatures right so it's like maybe if y'all are having conversations they try hard not to dictate the conversation because they're so well learned in a lot of um different aspects where it's like okay let me let my partner just speak and express their knowledge you know let me just shut up sometimes so that's the air sign let's do the earth sign let's do the earth sign all right, so what is what is um, the current feelings of the earth side that my viewers are dealing with? What's the current feelings of the earth side that my viewers are dealing with?
lovers okay somebody sees you as soulmate energy they have deep love for you this person likes to hold back the high priestess they like to not tell you how much they love you i don't know okay so earth sign energy i feel like someone is in that energy of possibly self-sabotaging i don't see them doing that towards this connection but i feel like they've been disappointed a lot in the past that they do have a guard up the nine of wands is here Someone definitely has a heavy guard up. Star card, they're actively healing from these past wounds, okay? Somebody could have told you or they're thinking that they don't want a relationship right now, the Hierophant, but what's going to happen with that? Because look, Ten of Pentacles, so I, I don't know. It's like someone, before someone met you, they were like, oh, I don't really want any relationships, but then they met you. And it's like, damn, I... I don't know. I kind of want to be in a relationship with this person because the justice card is here. So it's like, you know, they should be happy that spirit aligned you guys together because you are like this person's good karma coming in. But the queen of pentacles in reverse, somebody's very like closed off and also afraid to give. This person is very giving. You may not have seen that yet because they're very afraid to love. What's the star card? I got any... the knight of wands. Yeah. And things are moving very fast with you in this um, earth sign, but very scared to be vulnerable with you because of their past what's the nine of wands herman reverse if you give this person a little bit more time they will open up more and they will tell you their that what they want or what they see going with this situation but right now they could be a little afraid what's the high priestess what are they holding back okay this person's holding back an offer a serious offer of a commitment they're holding back because maybe they just want to see what you're going to do and maybe they've done this before and they feel like that last person disappointed them so badly did just can't fathom going through that again but i feel like within due time they will open up more hermit in reverse okay all right let's move forward to the um fire sign if you're dealing with the fire sign all right if okay if they're dealing with the fire sign how does the fire what is the how does this fire sign currently feel about my viewer how does the fire sign currently feel about my viewer nice okay oh okay what else Fire sign, five of wands in reverse. They feel like you don't bring a lot of drama. So they love that because they came from a relationship that had so much drama. Five of pentacles, this person's very afraid of being abandoned. They don't want, they can't, they can't deal with another missed opportunity or another, um, I didn't mean to say that, but I said it. So maybe that's what it is. Um, they can't deal with being disappointed again or someone just walking out or if they really fall for someone it's just not working out somebody really hates that their their worst fear is the eight of pentacles in reverse that it's not going to work out okay could could um resort back to childhood trauma maybe they had a, a, a father or a mother who walked out on them as a child um we also have the sun card in reverse this fire sign could be dealing with a little bit of depression but you are a light in this person's life. Seven of Pentacles, they also worry that they don't have enough to offer you. So someone definitely sees you as like possibly higher level and they're, they're, they're afraid that they don't have enough to offer you. Someone's very, this fire sign is very pessimistic. But what do they ultimately want? Seven of Cups, Two of Wands. So they, they could be still trying to figure out what they want because I feel like before meeting you, they felt like I'm just going to be single and just do me or focus on my life. But now you walked into their life as a seven of cups. So you're like, damn, this is everything I wanted on a platter. I need to just, you know, get my self-esteem back high and just go for it. But they do have a lot of pessimistic energy. So just know that. All right. And the last but not least, water sign. If you're dealing with the water sign, let's see. All right, Spirit. If, if my viewers are dealing with a water sign, if my viewers are dealing with a water sign, what's their current feelings? Only two cards came out and <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I'm going to pull more, but let's talk about the two cards. King of Swords in Reverse. This water sign is very cold. But the temperance, okay, is weird. So someone doesn't really give you a lot of emotion. This water sign, even though they're a water sign. But with the temperance here, they're very balanced. Like they're there when you need them to be. If you text them, they're going to text back right away. If you call them, they're always there. They make a, um, dates with you. They see you often. Like it's very balanced. The only problem you have is that this person is not really opening up feelings wise. Okay, why is that? Why the King of Swords in reverse? Three of Swords. This water sign has previously, very recently went through heartbreak. Okay, Three of Swords. Temperance though. 
Seven of Swords. Okay, interesting. This person doesn't trust people. That's why they're not giving you um, feelings. They don't trust people, but they're going to be a good person towards you because they care about you. So this person does care about you. They just don't trust you, but they don't trust anybody. Okay, what's going to happen? Hangman and Seven of Cups in reverse. Be careful of this water sign because they may keep themselves stuck and they might be the self sabotage -y. Is that a word? I thought it was the earth sign, but no, the water sign might be the one who self-sabotages. Why the hangman? King of Cups. Okay, this is how you'll know that the freaking water sign is falling head over heels. They're going to start acting very, like, not making much movement. So maybe if they're doing that now, they're King of Cups. They're very much into you, but they're trying to control their emotions. Seven of Cups in reverse. Why? Okay, King of Pentacles in reverse. This person would make a very great person to settle down with or have a commitment with. They just don't show it, show that part of them because they are afraid of getting taken advantage of. So whatever, okay? I'm sorry. That's the water sign. So um, I'm going to get the last words and then we're going to take this to the extended. If you're interested in their next actions towards you and you're interested in the outcome, I'm going to do um, all elements again for the outcome then you want to follow me to the extended reading the link will be in the description box down below but first let's get the last words of your person even the last words of whoever is currently on my viewers mind wow Not a lot is coming out. This person doesn't speak much, do they? All right, highly protected, okay? This person really is a highly spiritual, highly religious person. God is really on their side. Th that's a good thing, you know? Someone walks within the light, which is beautiful. Um, even if they're struggling with their emotions, their feelings, you know, things that they dealt with, they still have heavy belief in spirit, the universe, God. They still feel like good things will happen, that there's good people out there, okay? Blame game is here. Interesting. This could have happened between you and this person already. Maybe that's what they're used to. They're used to exes who never take accountability, okay? Um, we have you make me nervous. So you definitely make this person very nervous. They can make you very nervous. We have breakup. Somebody could have recently just had a breakup. You could have recently just broke up with this person or they broke up with you. We have December, Sagittarius, or Capricorn. This could have happened in December that you guys broke up. Something significant could have happened in December. You could have met this person in December. Um, you could be a Sagittarius. Your person could be a Sagittarius. You could be a Capricorn. Your person could be a Capricorn. I have no plans on changing. Interesting. That's really that water sign energy for sure. But um, that could be your person. That could be you, okay? We have Will You Be Mine. It's the Ace of Cups in this deck for me. So somebody definitely wants to be in love with you or have this love offer with you Nef movie night netflix and chill so lots of um lots of movie watching with this person lots of netflix watching lots of bonding over movies lots of bonding over what you do while watching that movie okay <laughs> all right guys that's it meet me in the extended we're gonna have some fun before i go to bed um thank you for your time if you're waiting on your specific sign reading it's coming out just bear with me guys i promise you it's been so stressful this week, but we're going to get it together. I love you guys so much. All the links that you need are down below for the extended, for my Instagram, for my store. If you're interested um, in a personal reading, everything's down below. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. All right, bye-bye.